Okay, so today is going to be all about this priest deck. Uh, so Zen a lot. Uh, I recognize a name from back in the day. Uh, Hearthstone player. I don't know what he's still up to. If, uh, if he stuck with Hearthstone, moved to something else, whatever. But I, I seem to remember him being a pretty good player uh, back in the day. Sakurasta had recommended this deck. And uh, yeah, I wanted to give it a go. It's kind of interesting. None of the cards in it are uh, specifically uh, real. I just realized got to change the deck list here. Uh, are, are real surprises, you know, on their own. Um, I think it's a lot of like typical control priest cards. Uh, but what I find really intriguing is it sort of implies uh, a deck that's been really fine tuned. For example, he's got Velen in here and a single mind blast, which is just something, you know, I would never do at the onset of deck construction. It just seems so counter to what you would do. You know, one Cabal Shadow Priest, he's got a BGH in here, which is, a, you know, not all that common. The Swamp is good for, you know, rogues and warriors you sometimes see, but it just feels like a very fine-tuned priest deck. So, I'm gonna give it a go, see how it, uh, see how it handles, see how it feels today. And, uh, yeah, maybe we can actually get somewhere with Priest. I don't think we've ever had too much luck playing Priest before. I mean, I certainly know it's the, uh, the worst class in the format, so it's unsurprising. But we've tried some Mind Blast kind of decks. We even tried something with, like, a Gadget Sand at one point. Uh, just, yeah, none, none of that stuff panned out too well, even if it wasn't, uh... Bring Wasn't completely terrible, but uh, yeah, I'm excited to actually do some priest here. And whew. now this, I'm not sure what to do. I'm far from a priest expert. I think a circle of healing is great with both of these, right? Drop in the blade master and then circle of healing. But it's especially good with Akani against Zoo, and I really think that's how you're gonna win this. Uh, so if you're not using, oh, this is perfect. Yeah, if you're not using the Circle of Healing for the Blade Master, I feel like it's better to mulligan, uh, just like we're doing there. Probably worth it to run out the Cleric as well. And this is great, it gives us a little bit more early removal, and then once they flood the board, we've got a way to deal with it. Not bad. Obvious Holy Smite play. It'd be great if we could get some heals off of this uh, for draw as well. Ooh. Like that is just so nice. Actually, a little bit surprised he would even... Uh, Run that out, to be honest. Cause, I mean, he's got to kill that. What I'm really unsure of is when we get the... Uh, when we get the Akhenai out. Wow, with another circle. Is it correct? to do it here. If we do it, it still leaves us 1-1 one, one on the board, which is not ideal. But then we get the Drake out next turn. Yeah. I actually think this is fine. Force him to trade. We can still uh, potentially make use of this with the Pyromancer, even. Uh, a lot of one health stuff in most of these zoo decks. Nova, also a great board clear. I think at this point, oh, him with the Blade Master. Yeah, we, we gotta be in good shape. Just wants to holy fire that. 
Um, but you do lose a bit of tempo in doing that. I got to think that this is actually going to be better. Still the option to holy fire it next turn. Uh, but we also might be able to run that in. And Argus kind of makes that difficult, but... There's other ways of dealing with it with these, then. Like, I think it's just a hit and hole, you know, for you. No point of getting the pyromancer out. We'll do that, we'll beef that up. Not really worried about dying at 20 health, especially with this. Interesting card there. Alright, I don't see how we could possibly lose at this point. Uh, Velen is so good against aggro, they ignore it, you heal for a million, they kill it, they probably lose their board. Yeah, I mean, there's so many tools to deal with aggro in this deck. Uh, we, we drew really, really well this game. Uh, on top of that, but uh, yeah, I can definitely see how with, with everything else, by the time you get to Velen, you could be in, in good shape to either stabilize or just continue the uh, the onslaught kind of thing. Alright, well, we'll just do this. Ellen smite mind blast 14 damage through taunts. Yeah, exactly. Oh, well, here you go. 20 damage like that. It's fine too. Pretty good start. Hey, Nissy. Welcome back. Our things. Anduin versus Jaina. You asked for it. The light shall bring victory. Okay, so typically these are going to be freeze mages. Uh, which means this might not have a ton of value. If this is tempo, it's really good. Drawing cards is just fine because we'll have, uh, you know, lots of good stuff to draw into, but interesting. Early, uh, early combo pieces. Yeah, Cabal the Doomsayer, that's right. Mm -hmm. I guess we'll get this out, and then I don't think there's any point of, uh, rushing out a Power Word Shield because he's probably not even going to kill it. Okay, don't mind that. Right away. Oh, he actually does go for the kill. Oh, I really don't mind that. Uh, I'm trying to think about coin here. How valuable is the coin? If he has another Frostbolt for this, it kind of sucks. But it's really not... Uh... Coin's really not that good if you just got a single Mind Blast in the deck, because you don't have that crazy 11 mana villain play. Yeah, 
So let's see, I mean, maybe fireballs it, but then loses some of his burst. A frostbolt and an ice lance, though I gotta say is uh, pretty surprising. I know he can Alex us, but that's really why I want to save this. Is if he Alexes, and hopefully we've got like a death in our hand at the time. Same thing for Antonitis. Uh, we can just heal back up, and then I think he's just completely out of uh, ways to burn us down. Unless he gets off some absolutely bonkers uh, play uh, at the same time that he plays Antonitis. I guess we're just hitting here. This guy's putting all his burn into your minions, has he even kill you? Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, that's... Kind of what I was getting at there. I'm not sure... I'm not sure he's really got too many options going forward. Um, I guess we'll just get this out. The draw is probably better. And I'll keep that. Draw's probably better because I think at this point all we really care about is deaths. Right? If, if he gets any damage from Alex Draza hitting us in the face or um, or Antonitis staying alive behind like taunts or something like that, that's kind of the only way I can see losing. Ooh. All right, I might smite this though. I'm not, uh, I'm not sure. So we can blade master circle, which is awesome. This denies draw if we smite it. We still have one more in the deck, right? Yeah. Yeah, it kind of feels like we have to. Other ice lance. Yeah, this feels questionable to me. It does make me wonder, though. There's a small chance that this guy could be running, uh, like molten giants or something. It just seems really weird. Yeah, if he doesn't play Antonice, he's screwed already. Yeah, I. I gotta think either he's uh, he's unfamiliar with the deck, or he's got some other trick up his sleeve. It's a little bizarre. I don't really care about healing that up. I think it's probably better to just play this and shoot him. A little risky to get that out if we get Alex after, but I don't know. So much damage to Akana, you lost two damage. Why do we lose two damage? Oh, hero power of the time. Yeah, that's true, that's true. Yeah, sometimes I do that if, uh, I was unsure if I should play out the Ock, and I so I just start playing the line up until that point. But yeah, that was uh, sub off. Sure, if there's any benefit to holding on to this stuff, I don't think so. And we're gonna get the uh, spell damage from that. Yeah, I think we just get it out now. 12 damage mind blast, 6 damage holy smite. We still have a death for either Antonitis or Alexstrasza. Maybe we even get extra damage off of that. 
Yeah, villains uh, crazy this turn. It's very strange. Um, hmm. I think we kill our Akhenai. How do we do this though? Four, eight, ten, proc, kill. You can heal up there, but there's no way he does 20 damage in a turn. Oh, right. This is 4, too. Well. 7, 10. Yeah, why don't, why don't we do it like this thing? Let's do that. That. Now we'll earth in it. Heal ourselves. Yeah. Seems fine, we'll save that. Hmm. Yeah, now you probably just could your own Arcanite. Yeah, yeah, I don't think we needed to heal all the way to 30 just because uh, he could still Alex us. Um, but I can't, I can't even imagine what it is. Like two fireballs is the most damage he can do. Uh, unless he's doing something. Real, real crazy. Genius. Don't even, uh... Don't even take advantage of spell power. Do we get the heal from that? Okay. <laughs> I was like, wait, what? Uh... Doesn't really matter. I don't know if you should heal a minion or heal yourself. Right? These things die to flame strike, but it doesn't really matter because then they will survive. Uh, normally max damage is 21, but you had to use all the small damage. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, with what he's used, I, I just don't think it, it matters. He's got two fireballs left, right? No frostbolt, no pyro. Yeah, no pyro, no ice lance, no frostbolt. And, well, now he's down to one fireball, even. Uh, it just doesn't matter, right? Yeah, hard to, uh, hard to tell if there's just a bunch of mistakes on his part or, or really bad draws, but... I can't say I quite, quite understood what he was going for there. Miss lethal against counter spell. Oh yeah, that's right. You know, if he played a uh, a random counter spell there, he deserves to benefit off of that. All right, what are we doing this matchup? That's no good. That's no good. Is there any point to Thanos? You get the draw. Thanos is good if you have Holy Smite. Actually, I don't think it's a good keep. Hard mulligan for Akanai Circle. Yeah, I, I mean, I think even like that, Powerwood Shield, the Swamp Boost, I, I think there's tons of better stuff. Of course, you need a target for that. I think it's probably worth getting that out. It might Power Word Shield that. I might run this out with the Power Word Shield next, uh, next turn. This is always like... Oh, interesting. 
Yeah, there's always like these half targets for BGH in the deck, right? Like a buffed Gadget Sand or a, a super big Edwin, but. Of course. There we go. We got death if that ever happens anyway. Don't think it's worth circle there. On the gas in already, or is this a drag? Drag, okay. Hmm. I mean, you can hold Nova and then hit. Is it better to just run the Drake out though? There's no real other use for that. What does he do that? I mean, he just swings and hits an air, right? This is a, yeah, it's only got five. get the Drake out. Yeah, if he just hits here and we decide to to Holy Nova next turn, it's basically the same thing as doing it the previous turn. Except that we got the extra draw. Is he gonna Blade Flurry? It's not even too bad. I guess it's a Holy Fire instead. Of course, if he uh, gets into his gadgets in soon, I think we're just in big trouble anyway. This is interesting. Definitely got options. 18 cards in the deck. So we, we could run this out and hope that it survives and then just go ham next turn, right? Like super holy fire, all that. The thing is, if he saps it, kind of sucks, but it, it seems like he's still digging for the gadgets in. So the chances he's got sap is like only so so. Otherwise, you can just dump like a Shadow Priest. I don't think it's right to get the Akhenai out because you want to save it for the circle. We're gonna try this. Certainly Hurst gets sapped, but if he doesn't have much follow-up after, if he's still digging for the auction here, then it's actually not that bad of a turn. The top decks it, damn. A bunch of lists only play one sap. Yeah, I've heard people say that before, and then I feel like every time I play uh, I play a rogue, they always have two. But of course you never uh, you never know unless they're playing both. Even still here, this is not that bad taking or, or dealing seven damage to his face. Uh, okay, so obviously we're gonna be doing that. But then we got that. So you could run this out after. Which I don't hate. Threaten some damage, or you could like preemptively heal, do it, or like shoot him in the face. I think I like the BGH. So I already used one backstab as well. Oh, 
Look at that. Constantly healing, he runs out of damage. Well, the thing is, we kind of have, like, both in, in Holy Fire. Where we can push damage and we can heal up. Uh, man. Oh my god, he topped... Or, I didn't see if he topped it. Maybe he actually got it last turn. That is not good. Of course, we need this to die for this to be healed as well. That's also true. Hmm. So how much damage do we have? We've got 7, 12, 14, 16. Just short. It's a very good chance, though, that we'll be dead next turn. So we can draw for the circle. We could attack, we could kill our own Akanai, and then Holy Fire did not die. Even if I drew a circle off of the Drake, I, I don't... I don't feel like it'd be that good, because then you kill the Drake as well. I'm gonna do that. I'm guessing he's got tons of damage. If it took him that long to get the gadgets in, he's probably going to get a lot of draws. You know, you hope he doesn't have, like, the full Leroy double shadow step combo, but, uh, but that five health is going to help. If we draw Mind Blast, we win. We can draw it off of the Drake as well. I mean, it doesn't look like we're dead. Cool, cool. That makes it three, six. If you get them both down, that's four, but you can't play that. I think you have to draw, right? Trying to look at everything, because I mean, you could like Holy Nova and shoot that, you can death it, you can do all that stuff, but I think you just have to draw a chance to get lethal. No, not gonna do it. It just seems so unlikely we could survive. <laughs> Do that and pray that somehow, like, Leroy's in his bottom two cards. And he has no draw. So it's gotta just be BM, right? There's gotta be no way. I'm almost out of cards. My eyes are open. He actually doesn't have lethal. <laughs> this guy's a toast. I mean, that's crazy. I almost feel bad. That's so crazy. Can we get it though? Five, seven, nine. You'd have to be able to have that as well. So we can kill everything. I 
And there's no way to like kill this, draw the mind blast. Is that really Leroy right there? So weird. Oh, again, we'll do it again. Yeah, the last card in his deck was Leroy. He didn't use any shadow steps, so we know we're dead. That's crazy. I mean, that, that's like as lucky as you could possibly get in my position. We still lost. That's where I'd love a second mind blast, but... I'm gonna trust the uh, trust the deck. Somebody played a lot more priest than I ever did, so. Times. Yeah, I'm curious how this does against like a uh, a druid, or I feel like this could even potentially beat a warrior. Might be tough, but I'm curious how it does against those. I'm, I actually really don't want to face any more miracle rogue. I think. Uh, I think that probably is a bad matchup. Okay, Druid. Oh, we got RNG Jesus. Very nice. Yeah, this is the uh, the NA server. Are they... Well, if you don't play on NA, are they uh, faster queues on EU or something? I'm actually not gonna rush that out. Pretty good chance it just gets harassed. And there's not a lot of things that uh, you generally bump up against. Sometimes they've got like a, an Argent, but yeah, I'll save it. Yeah, you don't get a, over 30 second cues ever before hitting Legend. Oh, that's uh, that sounds quite nice. Cues along everywhere. Classics getting stale for most. I mean, it's always been this way. Uh, at least since I started playing Classic. Maybe not like the first week or something, but even that first month, you get some pretty long queues. Uh, well, when you're up around that Diamond Legend, whatever. But I know somebody said, I forget who it was, uh, maybe it was last season, and they were saying that they'd seen, uh, they'd seen like rank... I think I will get this out. They've seen like a rank 1,000 legend players on EU, but I think the highest that I saw on, on NA was like 300 or something, so wouldn't surprise me if it's more active. In legend, especially beginning of the month, you wait two to three minutes. Oof. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Still, a lot better than some games, like, uh, I know a lot of, like, team-based games. Any, like, MOBA or something like that. Uh, unless it's, like, really popular, or if you're playing it, whatever, an ELO that's, uh, that most people are at, it could be. Pretty long wait times as well. Hmm. Do we wholly know for this? It's like actually really hard to deal two damage. I mean, we can Thalnos it later. He's probably not going to heal it, but. Could go crazy and just like double Northshire here, heal his guy. I 
No, I actually feel like this is still the play. Everyone's net decking. Oh yeah, well, let's see. There's over 300 legend players in EU right now. Okay, what are we? 12th of the month. So yeah, it, it sounds like it's just more active on EU. Uh, everyone's net decking from Vicious Syndicate. People have said Vicious Syndicate before. I once again don't know what that is. I've also just realized this game that uh, we have no Shadowward Pains in this deck, and it didn't uh, didn't stand out to me until now. Every single druid right now is two times Sandrin, Earth and Ring, and Ancient of War. Huh, interesting. Last to a Farseer Druid is Freeze Mage. Huh, wonder where it came from, yeah. Well, I guess that is, uh, it's your answer. Well, we'll finally get the, the draw off of this. Too bad we couldn't draw into a uh, circle of healing there. Drew runs far here. Yeah, yeah, that's what uh, that's what Sakurast is saying here. Everyone's apparently running two of them, which I do. I think I have run into a bit before, but it wasn't. Uh, Certainly wasn't every druid that I ran into previously. Two months ago, when everyone net deck uh, the heart or the forest years were harvest golems. Yeah, harvest golems were a lot more popular, and it, it was weird. It was like dependent on the day. I think, yeah, probably like two months ago. It was uh, yeah, way more like the argent squire or harvest golem that kind of thing. And then just all of a sudden it became like, now they're all running, yeah, Ancient of, of War and uh, like Ragnaros and all the, uh, all the big boy stuff. Okay, that's a really good draw for us. There is a question how we want to do it, because we can just Holy Smite and hit. Well, we've always got the Wild Pyromancer option as well. Uh, we could even like Thalnos, Pyromancer, Smite that. Don't like that though. So I want to be able to heal this up. Hmm. We got the other one. We got the Powered Shield. I'll do that. Yeah, I'm not gonna pyromancer with it. I, I guess I'll split the uh, the health on these. So if you don't heal that up, he just hits in hero powers. But either way, they could swipe, and then. Uh, yeah, there's always wrath potential too. Uh, the vicious syndicate meta update was one month ago. Since then, everyone net decked. Okay, okay, gotcha. Oh, this is fine. Uh, still a bit of a question as to how we do it, though. I like. Drake, but I really like the heal from Holy Nova. Right, you death this. And if you bump and you Holy Nova, it's nice, but. Hmm. I feel like it's better to get the Drake out, though. I guess you should get the draw. Circle of healing would have just been great, but four health on all this is pretty tough for a druid to deal with. Gives you a pretty big advantage if you know about Vicious Syndicate, because uh, you know exactly what list you're playing against. Yeah, I've just never, never really uh, been a fan of all the net decking kind of stuff. 
Yeah, ended up getting blasted down by combo. But honestly, it's still not that bad for us. I think we'll get one Pyromancer out. And save the soundness. I guess you could argue though, just thinking back when I said, you kind of argue what I do is uh, is often net decking because it's like viewer suggestions on stuff, so I guess that's a fair point as well. Okay, we're back to all this Salnos Pyromancer stuff. What do we want to do here? Hmm. I actually think I do want to do the Pyromancer play here. Not super keen on Thalnos at the moment. Can actually AoE for five. Yeah, yeah, you can if you do the whole this, this, shield, and, and Nova in the right order, but I'm thinking I'm gonna save this. To seven, right? Yeah. I mean, dealing with his board, but not in the most efficient way. We're uh, kind of running low on reach here. Velen would be great. But even still, we need some more. I think what would actually be best is if he runs out like a, a reg and we can just blast it with the BGH. We need some kind of uh, swing in our favor or just a completely dead turn from him, but that's like so rare against Druids uh, this late to the game. I don't know what to do here. I'm trying to think how useful this guy Stalinus is. I mean, he's definitely running it out for the card draw. But I don't think he's used any rats. I think he's still got a swipe left. And if we hit, we can heal and heal. Otherwise, you're like healing face if you go face. It's like a Rast does two damage to the Farseer and then Hero Power can kill it, which is kind of annoying. Or he can just run in. I think I will kill it. Heal it back up. Honestly, a 3 3 body is pretty helpful. 
It's possible I'm being too conservative with this BGH as well. Especially after killing a Thalnos, because uh, being like a secondary target from a swipe suddenly isn't a concern. The life coach roleplay though. Yeah, but I didn't do the sound effects when I uh, when I played my cards, so doesn't quite count. Shit, and then we have to uh I think we have to holy fire this. We run that in, we holy fire. If we hit and then farce here. Yeah, I really wish I could just holy fire face, but uh, I think uh, I think this is the line. Yeah, it's funny. I I hadn't seen uh, life coaching forever. Like I had no idea what he was doing, uh, and for some reason he popped up on like the Twitch recommended channels or whatever uh, and it was him playing Slay the Spire which it looks like he's been playing forever because he's got like the highest level ascension or whatever and yeah I just watched him for like 20 minutes I was like oh let's just like I'm curious does he play Slay the Spire like he plays Hearthstone and yep it's the exact same thing it's like yeah yeah he is still streaming pretty uh, it seemed like pretty frequently at least I, I don't know if he took a break or whatever but it looked like Gwent and uh and slay the spire still, and he does he does all the same thing. He still does the sound effects. His uh, his run that he was on his slay the spire run was at like three hours or something. Which, if you're familiar with slay the spire, that's a lot longer than most people take. Okay, we don't care about our health. I think we'll just do that. I feel like there has to be a BGH target in this deck. Most likely a rag, but possibly even something else. You're usually not running all that uh, the Sunwalkers and the rampy stuff without it. Okay. This is good. This is very good. No reg in the vicious list, but you never know. Interesting. Yeah, it, it's possible. Like we, we might just uh we might just completely whiff here. So as much as I would love to mind blast here. This is uh this is just so good for board clear. Tough for him to hit this, or kill it rather. I mean, the guy's name is RNG Jesus. How can you not have a rag in your list with a name like that? Uh, they all play BGH, uh, but did he drop it earlier? Uh, I don't remember if he dropped it earlier or not. I feel like though I see a lot of druid lists without BGH. Maybe it's just that they don't get to it. But I actually don't think it's that uncommon to cut it. Like I'm a little weary about it in this deck to begin with. I, I just feel like in the meta as is, there's not a lot of BGH targets, but... I didn't want to tweak it because I'm very far from uh, from an expert uh, priest player. And actually, yeah, he did play dirty. He did play dirty. It's all coming back to me. God, do we just play it now? This is doo doo.
What do we have left in the deck that we have to win? I don't know the exact cards, but it's nothing special. Like, if we play this out, we end up getting them both to run into there. I still don't know how we win. Because he's at six cards and we're down to two. But if he plays out a reg and you blast it, how much does that help you to it? Not really much. I don't know. I think we're just dead either way. I'm gonna try to force him to hit. He might just like wrath it and then I regret it altogether, but Truth is my Oh, we do have another circle. Amazing. Well, we'll see what our last card is. I actually don't remember. I guess if we knew it was a death, I would have played the set earlier. But I also don't think it would have made a difference. I don't think that was make or break uh, in that game by any means if we got it out earlier. Ugh, but I don't know what would have done it, actually. So we didn't have the circles until super late, so there's no way that like holding onto a big board clear from Ock and I would have been better. The only other thing I can think is the Velen turn. You turn, you put everything at 40, you lost it. Yeah, what happens if you don't? I'm not sure if we want this forest here. I'm gonna keep it. Um, yeah, what happens if we don't? The thing is, I don't remember what we would have got stuff to. Because if we get something to like 5 or 6, he also just uses... Uh, Yeah, I'll run one now. He also just uses like the two damage he gets from his hero to hit it, and it doesn't change that much. Right, it's two less to face, and then he takes a few more points of damage. But I don't remember exactly what it looked like. I think your other option is four three four five four four, so it would have been more damage against him. Yeah, if that's the case, it would have been what another uh, another four damage against him. Not sure if that, uh, yeah, if that could have changed it much. List is pretty bad at grinding, needs to uh, burn to win. But we'll see. I mean, so far it doesn't seem bad. Like, we're sitting at like 50 ish percent, if not 50. Uh, uh, uh. I think it's worth it to do this. Right away, right away. It's actually just nice to play some priest. It's been oh, this is interesting. It's been so long since I played kind of a a standard uh, priest list. This is very interesting. So this could be more of like a controlly style thing like we did. Like this could, whether it does the Molten Giants or, or it's just a whole bunch of like uh, fatigue type stuff. What I'm looking at is we hit and then heal up with the Farce here. I don't want to go like too crazy. So if you hero power, you're up a 10. If you circle, it's not that great. I doubt he's running cold lights though. Of course we're gonna super regret it if he is. Got a nine there. I think it's alright. 
But yeah, this is a weird card. I, it could also just be a freeze mage that happens to play this because it's a high value four drop, but I don't think I've ever seen that. No, okay, this is going completely off the rails. Grinder mage. Is that what it's called? Oh no, it's Identity Crisis Mage. <laughs> that seems about right. Yeah, see, this is weird. You can't even, uh, can't even heal. Like, I was looking at, like, a hit heal, but, or, or, like, even Holy Nova, potentially. But I think you hit, and then Holy Nova. Of course. The thing is, if it, if it's Identity Crisis Mage, uh, this could be a counter spell. But I don't think I can test it with the circle. Well, we got another Holy Nova. Let's, uh... Let's hope it's not a spell. Okay. And yeah, we could have kept the Lepronome alive, so it was a, uh, a target for that, but... No, this, this does, this seems a little bit similar to uh, the one that Argon Titan put together, that kind of burn mage. It's, at least those are the vibes that I'm getting, but it's not even quite that at the moment. So, I mean, I could steal a 1-1, one -one, which sucks. Uh... I can actually get enough spell power with Smite if I run that in. Which is not bad. I really like having the Drake out. Uh, but we could even could run the Thalmus out. The Smite hit and then heal. But like, do I really need to keep the Northshire alive? Not especially. And then if he's going to kill it, there's a good chance he has to ping it. Uh, I think I like this. Got to play more grinder mage with tons of value and molten. So much fun to drop double molten behind an ice block. Yeah, I just like that kind of uh, style of like get to ice block and then do something crazy. And it's especially fun if it's with minions. I, I agree. I really like that kind of deck. Looks like a control list with a ton of burn. Probably Antonidas coming out. Yeah, yeah, Antonidas. I could see in the deck. But yeah, I, I really genuinely don't know. For sure, I think there's a lot of burn. <laughs> Even that's so interesting. No way of dealing with that. Gotta show him Priest is the real burn. Let's see if we can. So, I mean, you could just holy fire him in the face, which is all right. You could do the hilarious Cabal Shadow Priest and steal them for a stall. I don't think I want to draw off of that, especially bad. I, think, I, I doubt he runs Alex. I doubt he runs Alex, but if he runs Alex, it really sucks to use that. I'm gonna do it. Alex Lepernum, best buddies for life. I, I don't think so. Especially with like mana worm stuff. Like this looks close to it. anyone who watched those like the burn mage, the Kungan mage, the OTK mage. They always had this like emphasis on early drops. And then uh you know, that's like where you try to get your Alex damage. I don't know if I shield now. So I could heal up too. But again, I don't know if there's Alex. I am going to shield now. 
I don't want that to die. But yeah, I, I wouldn't be like shocked if we run into an Alex. I just if I feel like I'm reading this correctly, my guess would be no. We could get hit with like an, an actual OTK though. That wouldn't that wouldn't shock me too much either. Like twenty plus damage from some Cabal Geomancer bullshit. Could we proc this thing? If we play that, I would play that. I mean, it's only four damage. Uh, it's actually even three with that. Four, six, that's seven. Yeah, I don't think so. Let's just do this. I love games like this though, because it's like, you know, how, how often do you actually play against a deck where you're like, what is this? Like, it's so rare. It's so rare. The worm's getting premium roids. It kind of feels that way. And we can easily kill this. Again, I just want to try to do the math, right? We got like two, four... Hit that, two for it. No, there's no way to proc it. Unless I'm blind. I don't think we need to throw out too much stuff. Because, yeah, I'm assuming... He's also got like blizzards and uh, and flame strikes and stuff like that. That's sad though. I just want to know what else is in his deck. But... Oh well. All right. I just have to hit the washroom real quick. Be back in a minute with more uh, more of this priest. Yeah, Tanta, just in time for the chair stream. It's actually a nice chair, though. I, well, I, I had two chairs previous to this. Uh, the place that I'm in now, I'm renting, and it's furnished. And so when I got here, it was just like one of those like really crappy office swivel chairs. You know, like the most basic, uh, most basic chair you can get. And at some point, I had actually, like, I was leaning back, and the screws that keep the back onto the base actually just snapped. And, like, they're thick screws. They're, like, you know, probably not quite a full inch, but, like, thick, thick screws. 
they snapped and so I was using like a kitchen chair for uh, for work for quite a while and yeah now we upgraded to real office chair but yeah good to see you Tantar we are uh, we're just running some priests today and so far it's been not bad I mean I think we're we're sitting around 500 but I'll, I'll say I'm having uh, having quite a bit of fun with it I like the list. What, what is up with you, Tantar? Tell us. Tell Stream all about your life. How's your day? What are you doing for work? What's your social security number? Just all the, all the things we'd like to hear. Go ahead, press that button. Interesting. Right away. I am gonna opt for the draw over uh, over healing face. You can try a rag in the list. Rag eight, Valen blast nine looks good. Yeah, Rake would be fine in the list. I, I think I'm gonna probably just stick with the list as is for now. But yeah, I, I would consider cutting the BGH for a Rake. I think you might be right. That, that might be strictly better. Wait, how many cards do I have? Whatever coin power word shield here. I don't think so. Maybe I just go ahead and do that. We'll see. See if it gets any value this game. Because other than that, I'm not sure what. I would cut. I think everything else has a, a decent role. We haven't really got any Swamp Ooze value, but it's like a low mana card, and I think it's got more potential to hit than BGH, especially with the two deaths, you know? Kind of makes me wonder, like, exactly why he put it in. I think it's Coin Drake here. Like obviously you could Holy Nova, but I I feel like we've got lots of heal. Right away. Right away. And there's probably tons of other low health things we can uh, benefit from with that, or like an Arcanite Circle. Certainly, Holy Nova time. Basically, get to choose if we want to draw. I don't think so, though, right? I think we've just screw ourselves. Wow. Oh, he's gonna trade, though. Oh, wow. Hmm. Might have to rethink this now. I'm, I'm really surprised that he would trade. We're at 10. So if you hit, you Holy Nova, you draw, so that's no good. If you hit, you Earth and Ring. Must hmm. <laughs> we actually might just want to heal our face, though. I 
Yeah, we want to get cards out of our hand. Hmm. Right away. This is weird. I think I just want to do this. Maybe I do holy smite it. I don't. An error, to be sure. No, I'm gonna do that. Cause it, we could power shield, we could holy smite, but I, I feel like I just want those tools for later. I'm fine if he hits there. How can I smite? Put more stats on the board. Yeah, that's another, another fair play. I guess because we've got two Akanis and two circles, that'd be fine too. Yeah, I'm not sure. I, I'm. I guess I'm playing a little more reactive here than proactive. Um, which I feel like is fine in this list, but let's see. Ah, I knew it. I knew it. I knew as soon as, uh, as soon as that thing died, that's what we're gonna deal with. Hmm. Okay, I don't want to run that out. Do we? Ah, can I hear? I think you just have to. There's Tantai. Yeah, I think you have to. Now you could power word shield with this. And we can also heal with that previously, but uh, we've got a lot of healing in the deck as well. I'm actually not that worried about getting bursted down. Actually, do you want a power word shield this time? Yeah, but I want to do it on this. I want the option to kill that if I need to. Oh, that's interesting. I actually think that that's very good here. It's not really man efficient, which is sad, but I think killing the two ones good because uh, if this guy happens to run uh, like a any kind of good buffs, blessing of kings or something like that, like I just don't want to keep stuff on the board. We, oh, I guess we do have a death. We could deal with it. Hammer? Hammer. Hmm. What are the chances he bursts us for eight? What have we got? We got nine. Really wanted fourteen. Sixteen. Yeah. We can get this out for the event. Mm. The Avenging Wrath the Equality Consecrates or Equality Avenging Wrath. I 
You could shoot heal if you really did the Leroy Blessing. Yeah, I'm starting to think I want to kill this actually. You heal, you shoot. You can't holy fire though. No, I don't like that. It's tough because the Pyromancer also starts to become a problem. Let's see. Might just go drastic in circle. Yeah, I feel like if you just wipe your whole board, then you you die anyway. It's possible that it's right to shoot and heal. It's also possible I should have just never run this out in the first place. I really wanted it out for the body, but I guess we'll see. How do you die at 19? Well, I just mean I, I don't think we kill him. I don't think he died the next turn. I just... Then it's like a super slow ability to reclaim the board, and I feel like we're just dead. All right, we got like another one if we want, but... Not much else to help with. Sure, two more AoEs, but at some point you gotta You gotta actually like push damage. See? Yeah, but I mean, it's not like you can say the other line would have worked either. I mean, you can't just look at, like, you know, that didn't work, so therefore the other play was the higher percentage play. And why are there so many toxic classic players? I mean, I think there's just so many toxic people on the internet. I, I don't know how, uh, I don't know how much it is in classic versus standard or wild or anything like that but i don't know the whole time i've been playing hearthstone you get to you get that kind of stuff yeah yeah he had the card already and whatever he was oopsing earlier that kind of thing but whatever it happens Yeah, I'm not familiar enough with this. I don't know if you hold on to the circle in hopes that you get an Akna. I feel like you do, because you've been good with Blade Master. That's really nice. Do you need a blessing? Feels like more in Classic, does it? Okay. But yeah, probably not by much. Yeah, I, I genuinely don't know. I think it is right to coin Power Word Shield here, so like an abusive doesn't uh, doesn't kill this. So we're still hoping to just heal next turn anyway. Interesting. The thing is, then you get into like he's got four damage. If he abuses, you can kill it off again. Whereas if you just heal, or sorry, if you do that, then uh, it's harder to do. Right but I'm going to still do this. There we go. I mean, that's what we really needed anyway. I will enjoy watching. All right. Now this is what I like to see. And do we power word shield this? Yeah, we do. Oof, part of me wants to hit it to get it ready for uh, for the Akhenai, but I don't think it's right. Especially if this targets that, and it could also get to... Right away. 
what do you call it? Argus or something? Another circle. I can. The light protects me. Okay. Okay, that's not too bad. Finally caught you live. What what is up, little pop champ? Yeah, I mean this has to has to be the play. I'm fine with that. I was gonna say we're getting low, but I'm not like too too worried about death. But I wonder if just the Blade Master healing heal our face is better. Four seven is really good here in the draw. Draw's only so so because I actually like the Holy Nova. Yeah, let's let's do that. Yeah, I think I think that's better. We're into potential Doom Guard territory. Oh, Leroy, what the? Well, even more reason to use Holy Nova. I just go face. Well, that's actually a little bit annoying, but it's not that big of a deal. Which means you lose the well. Sad thing is, we could still actually be dead here. If he's running Leroy, I gotta think he's probably running this stuff like Leper Gnomes. Yeah, here's the Soul Fires. Wow! What? No. Yeah, I was gonna say, there, there's no way that that was the, uh, the correct line there. That was very bizarre. Oh, right, I was gonna... I actually like that suggestion to add uh, to add rag into this list. Haven't had any benefit from the BGH. No, no direct targets anyway. I'm gonna put in the non plant number one two or whatever diamond. Yeah, I feel like that's actually just a. A good suggestion. Platinum rag, he deranked. Yeah, it's yeah, it is diamond. It is diamond. I keep calling it platinum. I don't know why, just because it it seems like more appropriate after gold for for some reason. Okay, I like this. Is that another one? I don't know if we, I don't know if we keep it because honestly, powered shield is good enough to take out a lot of this stuff. I really like a cleric, but this is nice with the Akanai. I think I'm gonna throw it back. All the scum paladins playing aggro. I actually don't, uh, I don't mind aggro paladin so much just because it's, it's still different enough, you know. It shakes things up just enough that, uh, that I don't mind it. I think especially because we have a second one, I am going to get this out. It's got the potential to buff this and kill it, which is uh, 
a little bit sad, but we still probably probably do that next turn. Uh, but we got the chance of. Wow. Okay, that was not what I'd expect. So we have the chance of a really nice play next turn with the uh, a heal and power word. I think you have to, though. If he's got a blessing of kings, I, mean, I guess we could death it. We'll just true silver it. Yeah, I don't know. But why would you use a quality there? We've got Holy Nova for like other stealth stuff. I'm, I'm gonna do it. Okay, I changed my mind. Did I say these guys weren't scumbags? We've had. You know, two douchebag paladins. Because he wants to put it off the board, he's holding a bunch of one health things. I mean, I, I get that, but I can't think that uh, that it's worth an equality, is it? Maybe I'm wrong. And yeah, like he's got to know we've got like Ock and I Circle, we've got Holy Nova. I was really hoping that the uh, the draw off that Power Word Shield would get us into some playable minions. I don't like buffs. But I think more than anything, I just don't want him to uh, get as much benefit off of Divine Favor. Yeah, but then that equality makes zero sense. Yeah, and here's a Coda, like... I don't know, man. We're seeing some... interesting play. Oh, like, I don't even know if we... ooze this. If we do that... Must consider. Holy fire without the heal. Still correct. All this though makes me think that there's a higher chance he's running Tyrion. He's got a Cairn even, jeez. Paladin might be hard to beat depending on how uh, overloaded he is on healing. Yeah, I really don't have a good sense for what he's running right now. I'm gonna do this. Suddenly, like, weird, the weirdly aggressive list. God, this Karen is just the worst, though, for priests to deal with. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Karen is just. It's awful, but I feel like if I play too passive, I'm just done for anyway. I also don't think I can be too aggressive here. Like, if he hold, holy fire his face and put him to 19, and this is doing like 10, he's just gonna heal up from that and probably more. So it's probably right to kill this off. Now, I don't know if it's right to Thalnos. Not sure. Like, the card's nice to get off of it, but, uh... Spell damage might help us as well. It's worried he was running these Sunwalkers. This is also... 
really not good. We got a potential 14 damage with this. But like absolutely zero follow up. Ugh, there's the lay on hands. Yeah, the equality play was really weird, but it just doesn't seem to make a difference. Yeah, yeah, I assume it's redemption. But I want to take the bubble off. All the divine shields and death rattles. But yeah, this is the point where I think we need, uh, we need some help, like a circle or something. This and the injured blade master are both pretty similar to get out. I don't know what other good targets there are. There's probably a couple. But yeah, otherwise you get that out, it's a four or five and it's dead too. You don't need circle, you need Jesus. Yeah, you're gonna need a lot more than Jesus. These and heal, is there literally anything we can draw? Mm. Just can't play a holy nova. You maybe get an earthen ring. Like I know if we heal we're we potentially have one more health. So yes, we could survive it, but really for how long? Let's just see what we get. There's the earth in me. I'll leave it for now. I, I might have to blast something with that holy smite to proc the secret anyway. Gotta ruin his redemption before losing. Yeah, maybe, maybe that should have just been the motivation for it. Just win, yeah. Ah, so obvious. Why didn't I think of that? Okay, well, for Zoo, I think we're, uh, I think we got a decent matchup. Ooh. Do you keep that? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's correct. You think you keep the earth and that's interesting. I I, I was thinking of keeping the earth and before the injured blade master came up, but you think you keep the earth and you got two turn two, four, seven, then trade heal on three. Ah, if you keep them both. Alright, let's give it a go. 
take your advice with it. Even a power word shield to top it off. Of course, now now that you say that, this guy's probably a hand lock. Nah, who are we kidding? Wow. Yeah, Holy Nova sometime soon, maybe. Oh, and he's not even trading. Well, that's a huge mistake. So we can still hit in Farce here. We can also hit in Power Word Shield. Um, there's nothing on four man that we want to draw, though. I guess a Pyromancer would be decent. But having a 3 3 body is really nice. Because you kill the wolf. Yeah, you kill the wolf and nothing uh, can immediately kill it. He's got a God, you might have to heal your face, though. And he's just going face. I actually am going to do that. 4-1 drops and a wolf, yeah. It's a pretty interesting start. The light. But yeah, I think we just have to change our plan slightly, especially with the way that he's playing, right? If we just try to counter it this way, I think we might be just fine. Uh, let's see what we get. I really want a Pyromancer, right? It's also not bad. Is there anything else we could draw? Probably not. I think you're beefing this up with the shield. Okay. Yeah, I gotta milk the hero power. Yeah, it's. I don't think we do this turn though. As much as I would love to hero power, I feel like it's better to take that off. I think he wouldn't have shielded twice. It's possible. It's possible that we shouldn't have done the second shield and then uh Yeah, and then we would have had enough to heal up. Definitely can't play Drake here. What, you hit twice and pray? Oh my god. Of course. Because, yeah, if you survive one more turn, you're actually in decent shape, but. Soulfire or Doom Guard kills us. We're just alive against all the buffs. Always tap last, genius. Yeah, it didn't matter. Even had the abusive if you would have uh, would have needed it. Oh, that was just unfortunate.
That's a different warlock. Let's have some fun. <laughs> the light shall bring victory. Toss all this back. Okay, I like this. I really like that. This is where ancestral healing so much better than circle of healing. Or, or that is where it is. Yeah. Yeah, no kidding. How is it that you can be so annoying of a person that uh, right away. in about two seconds of online play where you can't even type your feelings, somebody can just immediately tell you to shut up. Like it's crazy. I get games where, you know, like League or StarCraft and you can just like be in the shit out of people, but like... How is it just humanly possible to be that annoying? We've actually got some interesting lines here. So I, I don't, I don't like love Arcanite Circle, but I don't hate it. It leaves you with two one health things on the board, which is still really good against Zoo. Um, but you can also like Pyromancer and Mind Blast and kill something. Yeah, you can draw too. I, I don't feel like I need to draw because I feel like you'd just be drawing for like more board clears. We got draw off of that, potentially draw off the heal. You think the draw three is too good, really? Hmm. Yeah, I don't feel like I want to draw, actually. I think I'm just actually going to do this. No, I'm not. Changed my mind last second. I, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how this goes. I, I just don't like having that out and then not being able to heal afterwards. It's the only thing that kept me from doing it. Um. But we'll see. I, I can see the benefit of the draw play as well. Yeah, 1 4 cleric against 3 1. Yeah. Oh, like even this, this is so. <laughs> you can again go for crazy draw. I don't want to heal the 3 1, but. Might be worth it. We, we did power shield. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can even, like, heal first and then play that. And then circle. Or you can heal first, play that circle. You must consider. Hmm. Oh no, you can't you can't heal it. Jeez, I don't I'm giving myself too much mana there. Uh See, if you don't draw Holy Nova, though, you're just, like, so sad. I think I'm going to try this. Got 
looks like we had something else there. Eh? Another circle, but no way of doing it. Okay. Yeah, I feel like this was better than the Ark Knight anyway. Jeez, even the Cabal now is not so bad. Huh, yeah, it's really interesting. Certainly worked out. There's a, there's a world where you do that play and then you just draw like no good answers. The fact that he's trading though, oh, this like, I actually feel like his only way to win that is to then, uh, just commit to going face. Hitting this with Cabal is so nice, exactly. I do want to just look at all my options, because you can even, like, hit Holy Nova, that's good. You can, you know, consider a circle. But, I mean, four damage on board, I ah, just... It's way too good. Let me change your mind. Yeah, no point of hitting in circle. Because we'll overdraw. Plus we might actually want that with we must Arcanai or the other Blade Master or something. Even just these guys. Okay. We can just like full clear and then overdraw like crazy, right? That's how we do this. Oh, but we can't. Hmm. Maybe we can't full clear. Do, do, do. No, you're a little short because of the, the taunt just gets in the way. But if we hit, uh, maybe we're just gonna see if we hit there, hit there. No, if you run them both in, if you run both of these in, you hit. Ugh. I just don't. I don't want to overdraw too much, but maybe it doesn't matter because it's such a short matchup anyway. Uh, uh. Yeah, I'm gonna like not overdraw. It is just one overdraw. It's not a big deal, but. Probably overthinking it anyway. I mean, I, I think we're just gonna win this game no matter what happens. I think that's a good one to end on. I <laughs> emailed them. I probably should have, honestly. But you can't even do it after they uh, they concede now, right? Or I think you can do well played, but you can't do the other ones. It like blocks you from doing it. But yeah, I forgot that person was so annoying after like four seconds. It's true. My emote APM is very low. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna call it there. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow with more. Uh, more Hearthstone. It's a fun deck. I, you know, probably ended around 50% win rate. Um, too bad we never got a chance to try out Rag. I don't even think we drew him uh, after we put him in. Um, 
I think it's probably a good suggestion. We, we might come back to some kind of priest at, at a later point. I can't remember who it was, but last season somebody had uh, had put over, what do you call it, or, or put in uh, a deck that they'd hit Legend with that was, uh, you know, kind of controlly and interesting. I think it had, like, Sylvanas and Karen and Alex Ross and stuff. It's kind of cool. Um, so I might come back to that. As of right now, though, I, I've been thinking... Uh, might do a Divine Shield Paladin tomorrow. So we'll see how I'm feeling. I don't know if I'll be building it on stream. Or I might build it off and then we'll just start playing. Uh, but that's what I got in my head right now. So uh, we'll see. But yeah, I think that's it. Just hover over it. That's how you get them in still. Genius. I got to I just think about uh, the counter BM more. Uh, but yeah, appreciate everyone watching on Twitch or YouTube. And uh Enjoy the rest of your night, and we'll see you another time.